What is going on guys, Lottery Socks here, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're new, it's been, to say the least, a little bit of a stressful morning, I just wanted to take a step back and tell you everything that is happening, where we stand with AMC, GameStop, and The Spy, and I want to bring to you the major stuff that we should be focusing on going forward, without further ado, I'm just going to go over everything that we have to cover, if you find value out of the video or enjoy watching, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, let's get into it. First things first, or text numbers. AMC reporting 25.83% short interest, utilization maxed out, and the shares on loan at 178 million. The cost of borrow dropped a bit, sitting at 273.38% for an average and 358% for a max, as the minimum is 85%. Now, again, when the minimum gets low, it could drag down the average, so just keep that in mind. A lot of short sellers could be paying more than 273% on their position. As for a 5.23% short interest, utilization at 54% and the cost of borrow not being reported once again on Ortex. I don't know why Ortex loves to do this. Stocko Tracker reporting 950,000 shares of able to borrow for AMC at a most recent fee of 177%. Calls to puts, we are losing on the options chain. However, more calls out of the money compared to puts in the money. Basically, leaning out the options chain very, very equal for this week. But again, I think the real options chain comes for the expiration on May 19th. Of course, we do have earnings this Friday, May 5th. Adam Aaron says we are basically cash strapped and we are good to go. Go, and he kind of preps that for the earnings going forward. If you take a look at the AMC short exempts, you will see that it climbed up May 1st. They stopped this thing from ripping a little bit. It seems as if the algos want this thing to go, which we've talked about where we are at in the cycle. We'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. But again, keep an eye on these short exempts stacking up. For GameStop, 700,000 shares available to borrow. Most recent fee, 9%. And the calls to put ratio, there are a lot of calls being bet out of the money. And all of those are getting stomped out as GameStop continues to climb into the floor. Now, I don't know if this is a tin foil hat theory or it's just too obvious so let me know what you think in the comments down below adam aaron tweeted i was delighted by the nba and nhl playoffs today but it doesn't change how furious i still am that allegedly robin hood posted today that amc filed for bankruptcy we did not there aren't enough words to describe the incomprehensible incompetence i vote we should sue you 95.5 percent of the people said sue and 4.5 percent of the people said slide now i just find it interesting that there may be a narrative created to get your attention away from the Allegheny lawsuit. Now, this is definitely a tinfoil hat theory here, but it all just happened very, very fast, right? The same night, Robin Hood puts this out out of nowhere. Adam Aaron says, yo, I'm flipping out. I'm furious, yada, yada, yada. Now he's saying, yo, should we sue them? We should sue them, this and that. And we know there was a couple things a little bit fishy about the Allegheny lawsuit, even on AMC, Adam Aaron's side, on the board side. I'm not going to hold it to it, but it's definitely something interesting to pay attention to. Now, this article was recently dropped that AMC Entertainment CEO Adam Aaron sees $23.7 million pay package in 2022, which is up 25%. I don't really care what he gets paid. I just figured I'd bring it to your attention that Adam Aaron got a heavy, heavy pay raise, which of course he should be a good CEO without this. But with this, he should be an even better CEO because he is getting paid enough to say the least. Would you guys like Adam Aaron to buy more AMC shares? You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below, or you just think it doesn't matter. Now, the SEC was supposed to release the fails to deliver report but apparently there is a delay on it. The first half of a given month is available at the end of the month, which we did not get. On top of that, due to compliance concerns, the DDC to apply 100% collateral haircuts, zero value, to all securities issued by affiliates of LOC lenders effective today. Banks are not in a good spot. Here's the list of lenders in case you want to screenshot it. Moving on, the US Treasury just said the US will default as soon as June 1st if the debt ceiling is not raised. Reverse repos are pumping to all-time highs. US regional banks are getting smack. Pack West down 30%, which we did call out in Discord today. I entered puts on PacWest. If you want to know my trades, as soon as I take them, make sure to join the Discord. That link is under the video, as well as Mumu. If you want up to 15 free stocks, use my link, make a deposit to get up to 15 free stocks, each valued at two grand a stock. Back on with the video, Western Alliance down 25%, Metropolitan Bank down 21%, Home Street 15%, Zion's Bank 10%, Key Corp 7%, and the list goes on and on. Also, Virtu Financial not doing too well. Their shares fell 3.74% or 75 cents, as the firm is in a settlement talk with the SEC regarding a probe into whether employees could access off-limits trading data, which, I mean, I think you know where we stand on this. Speaking of PACW, there was a trade in the dark pool while it was halted, but no, I'm sure it's totally legit, guys. Just more corruption that we bring you day to day to day to day to day. And also, if you want some stuff on your radar, analyst predicts a rise in Highcroft Mining HYMC stock 3,333%, as well as Mullen getting huge orders for their Class 3 EV low 
cab forward trucks. They just received a purchase order for $63 million. Now AMC is currently trading at $5.46, down 3.5% on the day, and we have been calling for this little bit of a retracement, so keep that in mind. I assume we have this little bit of a retracement come into earnings before getting that nasty rip. It just tracks along the cycles. It tracks everything that we have been looking at going forward. Remember, we're looking for a peak very, very soon as the red cycle is ending like you saw back here before the January of 2021 run up. And you also saw it before this run up to $30 before getting halted. Of course, that was before Ape was issued. And now you are at that time frame again on AMC. But we are getting excited to say the least. You guys let me know your price targets for the next big run up. Or do you think this is going to completely rip and have the moon? Another beautiful, beautiful call out. The SPY is trading at $408.75, down 1.63%. It got smacked hard. We talked about when it reaches this level, right around 415, 416, that the SPY either breaks out and then gets smacked hard or it immediately gets smacked hard. And it kind of did a little bit of both. SPY is retracing. I would look for a bounce at 408, if not 404. And if not that, I think the SPY is going to bleed heavy below 400. We will see where that takes us going forward. Of course, we have the FOMC meeting today and tomorrow. Rate hikes, which is all going to affect the market as well as banks, war, so on and so forth. GameStop's trading at $18.20. 12 cents down 2.32 percent on the day and yes we finally finally got the gap fill on GameStop if you pay attention to what we've been tracking in gray this is exactly where GameStop has been trading right now and I do think it has a little bit more room to fall so just be careful with GameStop I think we just got this temporary pop and now we are going to reach that low whether that's at 1640 or 16 dollars even before getting that sympathy pop that can either be on AMC earnings or sooner or later but again guys just keep that in mind this is something that I'm expecting for GameStop. We are trading on the bottom of the Bollinger Band, so it could have a pop very, very soon. With that being said, it may sell off fast, sort of like a flash crash over the next couple of days before getting that relief bound. So just keep that in mind on GameStop. A couple of plays we've been touching on in Discord that I can bring to you guys is ticker symbol TIRX. This is up 100% just today. So far, right? A lot of these random stocks have been pumping, as well as another one, ticker symbol GDC, which was up over. 1000% yesterday and did start to sell off down 76% today. But again, guys, make sure to join the Discord. We have options trading alerts. We talk stocks. We post losses, post gains, so on and so forth. Also, with the Moomoo link, once you sign up and deposit using my link, you're also getting free level two order book data, access to trading options, going long, going short, and viewing other exchanges. Make sure to go do that, guys. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.